Hello, you guys. Welcome to my channel, Jesus Wants You. I'm Nikki Pratt. Listen, if you are new to my channel, I just want to take the time out, a little time out to personally thank you for subscribing to me um, and, you know, just listening to me, being able to listen to anything that I have to say. Moreover, when I talk about Jesus, and the reason why I thank you, because there's a lot of people out there, let's just be real, that don't want to hear anything about Jesus, okay? So, um, do know that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. So, whatever you do, continue in the word and always diligently seek him, all right? Now, first, before I get into what I'm even doing this video about, let me just welcome my new subscribers. I'm going to shout your name out, okay? Welcome Raymond Spunauer. Raymond Spunauer. Uh, Raymond, I have a little message for you. You've been sending me little nice messages that I cannot come, I can't come at, comment back to you. Um, probably because you're not in Google Plus, but I just recently found out uh, you too, Jessica. I cannot, still can't respond to you. And I know you are linked to Google Plus now. I still cannot. And I think it's uh, Clifford Charles. I don't think I can respond to you too. But uh, I don't know. I read somewhere where you have to check cookies or something. You, you guys, you're new to my channel. But my older subscribers know I am very computer illiterate. I don't know much about computer. All I know is press record, upload. That's pretty much all I know. But um, so check that out. For some reason, I cannot respond back to you guys. If you're new to my channel and you send me a message and I did not respond, do believe it is not um, the fact that I'm being bougie or all snobby and don't want to uh, respond. Not it. I just can't. Okay. So, uh, welcome aboard Gorgeous Nail. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel, Mr. Clifford Charles, uh, Tarani Applewhite, Donald Bowen, uh, Willetta Taylor, uh, Francesca Escobar, and again, Jessica Condanova. Welcome to my channel. Welcome, welcome. Okay? Now, today I want to... Um, I already knew yesterday that I was going to kind of do a follow-up video to yesterday's video. And the reason being is because in the beginning of my walk with Christ, I had a problem myself with... The, the you know the Ten Commandments and sin and why Jesus came and uh, sometimes it can sound a little confusing but God is not the author of confusion and um, it, it can sound contradictive if that make any sense but um, you know when I do these videos because I am one and I am not embarrassed to say to be a little slow at learning I learn quicker hands on and sometimes if somebody tell me something and it go over my head like a lead balloon you know I don't I don't pick it up sometime fast that's why I know I can't do this without the Holy Spirit I'm just tell you but I have a strong conviction is when I bring forth the word I like to make sure I try to make it just as simple as one two three ABC why? Because I think of myself and how I learn. Everybody, sometimes in my uh, in the beginning, doing videos, when I first started out, I went through um, just looking at other channels before I even started doing videos to think, Lord, uh, can I do that? I don't think I can do that. And some of um, some of the videos, and y'all know, y'all have been, you know, YouTube surfing. And you've seen these videos where they're talking about the Bible and they're talking about God. And it is so, I mean, it's like they make it sound so 
hard, like Chinese arithmetic or something. No, 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 no. We don't want it so overwhelming so it just goes over your head. You want a learning. And the Bible says with, you know, uh, search the scriptures and, you know, he tells us to get your own understanding. Well, sometimes some people can just be really, 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 really deep. Where it's just like you can't understand. I it's it's I'm very convicted when I'm talking about this and trying to put it forth and um to make sure you guys understand. So with that said, um I don't want you guys the video yesterday, I don't want you to go and say, Well, Miss Nikki said it is okay for me to sin because, see, that's why Jesus died. So, I can go out and I can fornicate still with my boyfriend because I love him. Mm -mm. That is not what Miss Nikki said. But Miss Nikki is doing this video today to make sure you under you understand what Miss Nikki said. Because that ain't what Miss Nikki said, okay? All right. Um... Uh, uh, I, Nikki did not say that it is okay to sin, all right? A lot of people have been contacting me about feeling condemned in their sin. And um, I spoke a lot about the Sabbath day because I had some people talking about keeping the Sabbath day. And there was, um, they was, to me it was like that sin was esteemed over all others for some reason. And I just had to point it out in scripture like I did yesterday. And for those of you who hadn't seen it, I uh, encourage you to watch the video that I did yesterday. I can't even think of the name of it now. Maybe I will by the end. Okay, so with that said, yes, Jesus died for our sins, but it wasn't our meal ticket to continue to sin. Okay, don't get it twisted. Yes, Jesus died for our sins. But it, it, he didn't die because I read scriptures yesterday to say that would mean that he died. He didn't die in vain. Okay. And I'm going to show you today further of what I'm really trying to say. And it was some scriptures that I didn't get to yesterday that I'm going to tell you about. All right. Now, look, when you're in sin, you're in bondage to sin. Okay. You're a slave to sin. The more you stay under the umbrella of God's word, okay? The more you stay under the umbrella of God's word, whatever your iniquity or infirmity is in the word and be having a true relationship with God, you will then be convicted not to do certain whatever your sin is, okay? Um you would have that invoice. You would have that invoice of the invoice that will tell you, hey, uh, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. That's not right. Don't do that. You know, so I'm merely saying if you fall under sin and condemnation, which was what some people was, was dealing with that I tried to deal with yesterday, um, you repent, you ask for forgiveness, and you move on. Now, with that said, and, and you move on and you stop the sin, okay? Now, like I said, you repent. Now, you don't go back to that same sin. And I'm going to show you in Scripture, because I like to back everything up with the Word. I'm going to show you in Scripture what God meant when he says, don't go back into the sin. All right, turn quickly. Oh, what y'all thought? You know, yeah, it's going to be a quick video, but you thought I was going to do this without the word? Uh-uh, you better go get your Bible. You better go get your word. Okay, turn the Bible, uh, turn your Bible to Second Peter chapter 2, verse 22. Second Peter chapter 2. Verse 22. Uh -huh. Shame on me. Shame on me. You thought I had it. I lost it. Ugh. Okay. Okay. 
Second Peter chapter 2, verse 22, and it reads, But it is happened unto them according to the true proverb, The dog is turned to his own vomit again, and the sow that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. Now, I'm going to break that on down to let you know what it is actually saying. Now, it said, the dog, no, it said, but it has happened unto them according to the true proverb. The true proverb of what it is saying about this same scripture is in Proverbs chapter 26, verse 11. Okay, turn over there quickly, but bookmark 2 Peter 2 and 22, okay? Turn real quickly to the book of Proverbs and look, don't just listen to me. Y'all want to... You want to look at these scriptures in your word because I'm telling you, we coming to us, there's a time coming up on us where you're going to need this word. All right? You're going to need it. Satan like to fool people. So turn to Proverbs chapter 26, verse 11. As a dog returned to his vomit, so a fool returned to his folly. Basically, what that is saying is if you're sinning and you know that you're sinning, but you'd repent and you'd ask for forgiveness for it. You return back to that same sin. But is he's saying it's like a dog returning to his own vomit. Like him throwing it up and turning around eating that same vomit. That is just disgusting, ain't it? But returning back to your sin is almost is, is the same thing. You want to repent of it and do it. And I'm not going to say once you do it the first time that... Um, you probably, you won't mess up again because we're not perfect beings. But I'm saying, if you come under this word now, at some point, you should know, you should not go back to it. Let me prove to you what I'm saying. I'm going to read up to read down. Turn back over to 2 Peter chapter 22. I'm sorry, 2 Peter chapter 2. I read verse 22. Now we're going to read up. To read out, okay? I want you to go to verse 20. It says, For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled therein, and overcome the latter end is worse with them than, be than the beginning. Meaning you done came into the knowledge of Christ, and you know right from wrong, but you're going to turn around and still do wrong. Mm -mm. He said, the worst. What, what, let me read it. I ain't have say. It says, the latter end is worse with them than the beginning. Because why? You, we should know better. Verse 21. For it had been better for them. Hear what he said now. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of the righteousness. See? See? There it is. Then after they have known it. So you knew better. And to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. And then I read to you verse 22. Moving right along. This is a scripture that I forgot to read yesterday that I wanted to read. Turn your Bibles quickly to James. The book of James chapter 4. Verses 4. Let me tell you why. I'm going to read it first. James chapter 4 verse 4. Wherein they think, I'm sorry, I am, I was just in James, what is going on? Somehow I was stealing Peter. I, all right now, all right. Okay, James chapter 4, verse 4, for real now this time. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy of God. And I said that, um, Jessica, I meant to read that yesterday, and I forgot. And you had mentioned that when you're around your friends, um, you feel different. Okay. We supposed to feel different. So it's a good thing that you're feeling different. Okay. Um, when you're around your friends, you, you're feeling different. God separates the wheat from the tares. Okay. He said that we are a peculiar people. I'm going to prove it to you. First Peter chapter 2 
verse 9. Turn on over there. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, okay? A holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness, okay? Out of darkness, into his marvelous marvelous light. We are children of the light. We are salt of the earth. What is salt if it has lost its savor? We different. We gonna be different. Um, we are in the world, but not of the world. John 17, 16 talks about that. And 1 John 2, 15 to 16. We're going to run right on over there and read it. Oh, yeah, we are. We're going to learn some stuff today. We're going to learn. See, all this stuff I'm telling you is going to be written on your tablet. What's your tablet? Your heart. And you can also write this stuff down, too. Okay? Write it down. Write the word down. Turn your Bibles to one of the four Gospels. The book of John. The book of John. One of my favorite script, uh, books in the Bible. All of it is. Really. So turn your uh, Bible to the book of John. Chapter 17. Verse 16. They are not of the world. Even as I am not of the world. Let's turn back. In the back of your Bible. To 1st John. Go to 1st John. Chapter 2. Verse 15. Through. 16, 15, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Did you hear that? Ooh, wee. I don't want to hear that. Because I want I want the world to know the Father in me. We don't, we don't want to hear that. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of this world. All right. Mm -hmm. So basically, we are a new creature when we are um, born again and come under the adoption of Christ. We have accepted Christ. We are a new creature putting off the old and we become a new man. Okay. Meaning we should not look like the world. Totally sold out to Christ. Totally sold out to Christ. Now, um, before I forget, Renee. Renee Bossy. I have received your videos. I don't know what... When, when you send it to me, Google Plus. I don't know. I guess send it to me... Um, Forward it to the Jesus Wants You email. Because YouTube know what they're doing. When you send me these good videos, and I really want to see them, it's erased. It's gone. Gone. Bye-bye. It's gone. We know we got the enemy at work. It made me so mad. It's gone. I can't believe that. It is gone. But also, I just found out recently. Remember I told y'all, in my inbox messages, I cannot inbox anybody anymore. Well, guess what? I just found out. Somebody, I guess they got mad from one of my videos. They hacked some hack 1337, some big ordeal where they can go and hack your stuff. And it has this little Pac Man. It's a grayed out bar with a little Pac Man here. And, uh, it says subscribers, 3,000, something, something, something. Not my subscribers. I barely even have, I don't even have 300 subscribers yet. It says 3,000, something subscribers. And then when I clicked about, it said, heck, 1337. Yep, they had, they hacked it. Yeah. That's horrible. That's all right. You messing with a child of God. I just hope you know. Because you got mad at something I said and you went in and you hacked my stuff. That's all right. 
that's all right but um I just needed um, you guys to understand that that Miss Nikki was not saying that it was okay to sin. See, when you, what when you come under God's word, uh, for instance, I have I have a new new mommy, y'all, Mama Victoria. She called me one day, and I, let me show you how this works. I was uh, uh sometimes my phone will automatically play. Uh, music and it was playing one of Aaliyah's. Remember Aaliyah, one of her old music, and I used to be an Aaliyah fan. I do not listen to secular music, especially not this music today. But sometimes I like to sing. Sometimes, uh, you know, I like uh, the old school stuff, like um, uh, uh, what's his name? Not Michael Bolton. What is he sings the song? Y'all gonna be there? With James Ingram. Why I can't think of the man's name. Y'all know I love that song. But it's a lot of old songs that I like. But anyway. One of Aaliyah's songs came on. And I was singing it. And then totally quickly convicted. I was like. Ooh why are you singing that song? Ooh. You know. She called me y'all. And she said. Nikki. You need to know. That don't be so hard on yourself. Don't beat yourself up. You, you, and I'm talking to you guys and me, but this is what she said to me. She said, you trying to turn away and, and stop some things, it, it don't work. But when he stops it, it's going to work. I'm going to give you another example of what I'm, I'm really talking about. When I was a casino fan, let me tell you, but I was one of them smart casino players. Oh no, ma'am, I ain't. I ain't. When I, if I won a lot of money, Nikki was coming up out of there with it. I would want to win three thousand dollars and sit there and play it all back. No, she wasn't them kind. She wasn't that. I would take a hundred dollars, turn it over, spend, uh, get, break it down and get sixty dollars and break the forty into all fives. If I put a five in, I won, I took it out, started all over. And then when I got a revelation of that, and when I saw what the casino, going to the casino was doing, separating me from my girls and my family, they went book, wow. Well, I wasn't there with them. And I was advancing Satan's kingdom and not God's kingdom. Uh, I prayed about that. Y'all, let me tell you, he delivered me up out of that casino now i'm not saying i was addicted to it by no means i was not i was not using my bill money or nothing like that i just got revelation on it he put it on my heart child i can't tell you the last time i've been to a casino my husband begs me all the time to go with him no i won't go and what i'm saying is if you continue under this under this word say you have a problem with alcohol but you're not you drinking all the time and you come under the word word and you you drink and you feel guilty about it because see i used to drink even a year or two into me doing this every me being in the word i used to get a daiquiri every friday because my job used to drive me insane but i would get a daiquiri every friday i need to relax my nerves i would say Honey, I kept coming in under this word and I kept feeling convicted. You can't pay me to pick up alcohol anymore. What I'm saying is you keep on under God's word. Those little things that we beat ourselves up about, they'll soon shed off like, like clothing. It'll just start coming off. Because that light, when you enter the light, it's going to expose that darkness. It's just start peeling off and coming away. And peeling off and going, not coming away, but going away. It, fall, it, it goes away. It goes away. So, you know, that video yesterday was basically saying, don't beat yourself up. Don't let Satan condemn you in your sin. Just try not to do that sin again because we can read. It's like turning back to your, um, your vomit. But, you know, it's not like you look at the Ten Commandments and go, oh, I got to do this. Oh, I should not do that. It's, I'm, I'm um, adopted into the kingdom of God 
I get to do this. I'm, it's my benefit. Because we should look Christ-like. As something of you, if you claiming the word and you claiming to be in Christ's kingdom, some of you, something in you, something of you should be Christ-like. You can't be in the word and, and living like a little hellion. It don't line up. So what I'm saying is, I keep saying it, but I want to make sure y'all understand. What I'm saying is, if you um, you keep in his word, each time, you're going to become Christ-like, Christ-like, Christ-like. You don't want to do that. Because me and a sister in Christ today was talking, um, Nikki, the other Nikki. I have like four Nikki's. Subscribe to my channel. Nikki Fitz, Nikki... Uh, B310, Nikki, Nikki, no, Nikki Hunter, I think. And there's another Nikki. But um, we were talking and I was, <laughs> we were laughing because I was saying, you know, since I've been doing this word, this is sad. I don't want to, there's family members that don't want to have nothing to do with me. One already. And when you become in the word, in the word, in the word, you lose friends. You lose some family members, okay? But then, like for instance, I love my mom, okay? I want to spend time with her. But, it's like, mm, she asked me the other day, she said, hey, what are you doing this weekend? Y'all, because I'm so wrapped up in his word and, and so sold out to Christ, and I'm not saying that is it a negative thing, that's a good thing. I was like, uh, I gotta wash, I gotta do this, I gotta do that, uh, uh, uh. I, uh that's pitiful. No, it, it's not pitiful. It, it's, I'm, I'm just being real right now. That's why I was. But I want, don't get me wrong, I want to spend time with my mom, but at the same time, I'm wrestling with, I gotta work for Christ. This is something I gotta do. I gotta be in this word. I got to work on my next video. I don't have time. And and then when you know you're going to be around those family members that do not like talking about Jesus. And I'm going to tell you, my mom, she'll talk about Jesus in her own way. Okay. But it's it, we we were talking, me and Nikki, it's, it's just if, if they ain't talking about Jesus, we sometimes, and I'm not saying that I, I every time, each time I get, but I bring up, I bring him up everywhere I go. I did this weekend, Verizon. Me and this guy was in the store, and I'm just ministering myself away to him. You become what you hang around. If this is all I put in me, this is all what's gonna come out. Huh? We, we, you gonna have, you gonna be friendless. Most family members don't want to have nothing to do with you. It's just the way it is. But um, it's, it's just... Uh, I knew then. I told her today. We were laughing. I said, I'm in love with Jesus. That's what that means. And that's a good thing. But I have been doing better with trying to call my mom a lot. It's even my family here in this house. Mom, you don't cook no more. Mom... When when the last time you cooked? Mom, when you gonna cook? You need to cook this. And you need to cook that. And that reminds me. Nikki, when we talk today, y'all let me tell you what I cooked today. Okay? Uh barbecue chicken in the oven, turnip greens, cornbread, black eyed peas, the uh Cajun black eyed peas, alright? And um a Butter cake with chocolate with Dyson. All right. Nikki, uh, yeah. I forgot to put, y'all, forgot to put the butter in the cake. Yeah. I hate messing up food, but it's good. It still was good because, you know, I had the eggs, eggs in there, but it was a little dry. But that's all right. They still eating it up. But I'm just saying, it's... I don't have I don't I don't hardly cook anymore. The only thing I would do lately is I might clean up a little bit here and there. My girls don't do it. I wash clothes. That's it because I have to have clean clothes. 
But I'm all about his word. I'm all about my father's business. And it's like when I'm somewhere else, I'm like, I ain't got time to be sitting here doing this. I got, I got stuff to do. I got to advance God's kingdom. I don't have time to sit at no... Like I had somebody recently. Why don't you go to the party? I ain't going to no party. Hey, do you know what time it is? Do you hear the words that coming out of my mouth? We're living in the end times. We ain't got time for no parties. It's all about advancing God's kingdom. Well, I love you guys. And I'm sorry for running my mouth. Running on and on and on. But again, I just had to make sure that you guys understand where I'm coming from. And uh, that's it. I'll see you guys Monday or Tuesday. Okay? Probably Tuesday. I'll let y'all catch up with these videos. All right? Thanks.